Looking at a map of Florida, you see a lot of water. There are bays, estuaries, rivers, lakes, streams, creeks, ponds, sloughs, and wetlands. Over the years, many of Florida's water bodies have suffered from pollution and habitat loss caused by wastewater and industrial discharges, agricultural runoff, and increases in population and development. In 1987, the Florida Legislature created the Surface Water Improvement and Management Act, or SWIM Act, to protect, restore, and maintain Florida's highly threatened surface water bodies. Under this act, the state's five water management districts are responsible for identifying a list of priority water bodies within their authority and implementing plans to improve them. The function of these projects is to help replace and restore uh, various lost habitats that have been degraded or uh, lost over the last 100 to 150 years for Tampa Bay. We've lost tens of thousands of acres of these habitats. The Southwest Florida Water Management District's SWIM program works with many partners, including state agencies, local governments, and other organizations to fund and carry out water quality and habitat restoration projects. This lagoon, this new lagoon with its marshes and tidal channels will provide very important habitats for a variety of different species that use Tampa Bay. It will provide various coastal features such as flood protection during hurricanes, storms, uh, and storm surges. There are two types of restoration projects conducted by the SWIM program. Ecosystem restoration and urban restoration address different environmental needs in natural and developed areas. Ecosystems are composed of habitat mosaics, a combination of many different habitats that give opportunities for many different species of wildlife to use them. Here in Tampa Bay, we are restoring uh, coastal uplands, uh, freshwater wetlands, and various estuarine wetlands, all components of, of a healthy coastal ecosystem. These projects also provide economic and recreational benefits for residents. Healthier habitats mean more and larger game fish, abundant bird watching opportunities, and natural areas for hiking, biking, canoeing, kayaking, and picnicking. Now both the salt marsh and the mangrove forest provide very important habitat and water quality functions. Uh, number one, they provide habitats for all sorts of little finfish, crabs, shrimp, as well as wading birds and a host of other uh, estuarine creatures, as well as help filter the water to remove nutrients and potential pollutants that might be washing down from the upstream watershed. In contrast, the goal of urban restoration projects is to integrate nature within an urban setting. But there are challenges, such as limited available space and the significantly degraded conditions associated with city living. A good example of urban restoration is this project along the Hillsborough River in an area known to early inhabitants as Cote and Chobe, or big place where water meets the land. Projects like this improve water quality by removing seawalls and creating living shorelines, which decreases pollution levels. They also reduce erosion and provide habitat for fish and birds. Water quality, habitat restoration, and economic benefits are all part of the mission of the SWIM program. If you'd like to learn more about the district's restoration efforts, visit watermatters.org swim.